Boo! Gotcha. I totally got you. Don't don't even try and pretend like I didn't get you because I totally got you. I got you, dude. Happy Halloween. I hope everyone's enjoying this season of the spook. And welcome back to the only YouTube channel on the internet. Don't look it up. Don't look that up. You won't find anything. There are no other YouTube channels. Just take my word for it. This is the only YouTube channel, okay? Don't go looking for another one. I decided to take a small break from my journey through the Grand Line in One Piece uh, because I, I hit a point that was a pretty good stopping point and I had just been binge reading it for a while. So I decided to take a small break and go peruse elsewhere with my time. And I figured there was no place better for me to go than to a horror manga given that it's October. So I decided to pick up Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. And I gotta say, it did not disappoint at all. I fucking loved this and I'm so glad I bought it. I really love this cover. It's super cool. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but like it's got, it's like this ridged texture to it that is super cool. And I also just think the artwork is really interesting. And I, I really, really love the way that this just looks externally. Apart from the way that it looks, the reason that this one caught my eye is because it's also pretty short and I wanted to not just dive straight into the deep end with Junji Ito because I know he has an incredible backlog of manga. I kind of wanted to just dip my toe in and not commit to anything crazy. Also, I'm, I'm kind of poor right now and this is the cheapest one I could buy. So that's why I went with it. Now I am just doing a reaction. I'm not going to try and like review this or anything, but I, I will say that it gets a thumbs up from me before I start going into my reaction of everything. I'm also not going to get super spoilery with this. I'm going to try and just sort of hit the key points and not really tell you everything that's happening in case someone watches this and actually ends up wanting to read it without having any spoilers. Uh, this is going to be free of those. But it's not like there's a whole lot to spoil. Again, this is super short and it's uh, really, really fast paced. So there's really not a whole lot that I, I could spoil, but I am going to refrain from just, you know, reciting the entire plot. Dissolving Classroom is an episodic story about two siblings named Yuma and Chizumi. And everywhere these two little rascals go, disaster ensues as Yuma profusely apologizes to pretty much every single person he meets. And after he apologizes to people, they slowly begin to melt. Meanwhile, Chizumi gets up to all sorts of hijinks and she has this weird ass snake tongue thing that she likes to lick up people's melted brains with. And oftentimes it's Chizumi's hijinks that lead Yuma to apologizing to people. The story does get into sort of why this is happening and what's going on and who these people are, but I'm not gonna tell you exactly what that is because I think that's one of the biggest draws of the story is what the fuck is happening and just trying to figure it out. They don't waste a lot of time getting to the point, but once you learn exactly what's happening and why Yuma's apologies are is melting people, uh, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what the truth is behind Behind that and the validity of what you're be you've been told and as the story goes on you begin to realize more and more okay maybe this is exactly what's happening and maybe there's a little bit more to it than that and as I said, the structure is very episodic. It kind of shows these two characters briefly popping into people's lives, causing mayhem and then leaving. Those little short stories are interconnected, but at first it just seems like, wow, these guys are just popping in and out and fucking people's lives up and we're just going to get that. Okay, so now that I've set the stage a little bit, let me get into my reaction of everything. First off, this story is so fast paced. You're like, seven pages in and shit's already going down. I think it's on like page nine, uh, Chizumi shows up for the first time and makes this horrific face at this poor schoolgirl, And the schoolgirl runs away and just like runs out in the street and gets hit by truck coon immediately. For a second, I thought I might've accidentally picked up an isekai. <laughs> And that's not even really a spoiler because that girl getting hit by a car is the least of her problems within her own little short story. One of the things that gripped me about this story right off the bat is a, like I said, the, the pacing is incredibly quick, but it also doesn't shy away from these surrealist imagery right off the bat. I don't know if all of Junji Ito's works are like this, but he is very detached from realism within his work. And I, I really loved it within this story because to try and attempt to find that balance between realism and like this surrealist, gross sort of almost uh, um, HP Lovecraft style of showing things would have been really odd to me, but he just jumps off the deep end and does not look back. 
the panels where people's faces are just like melting or like like their brains are coming out of their eyes are just like so gross so disturbing and he does it all the time without flinching at all and he just throws them at you and i love that he doesn't wait and try and sort of ease you into all the crazy shit that's happening he's just like this is what's going on and you're just gonna have to go with it i also just think that the concept as a whole is so like unique and interesting like the idea of someone apologizing to you which is just such a you know throw away gesture most of the time it's something that's just this formality that is sort of thrown out there but imagine making that into something scary like that's not a thought that would cross people's minds most of the time and yet he finds a way to make it so that every time this character starts to bow and the first time that he starts to apologize to someone it's like this rush of oh shit oh fuck no 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 stop 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 and like that is a masterful thing to do and i i think it's so interesting to even use that as a narrative device at all like how does that idea even come into your mind and the character of yuma is super disarming he's just like this really average normal looking person who outwardly is very nice and quiet and respectful in a way his character sort of gives me the same kind of ick and like creep that someone like jeffrey dahmer or like ted bundy does because outwardly they seem pretty normal but then they have this you know horrific secret that they carry with them the little sister obviously is super creepy i mean just look at her face anytime she's on a page but she was much more standard creepy to me like she makes creepy faces she says creepy things and she just has this whole demeanor about her that is really off-putting but it works really well especially in contrast to her brother another thing i want to note again without getting into spoilers is that there are consequences to the things that are happening within this story it's not like these two are just going on a murdering rampage across japan and no one is noticing it's not like you know they melt these people and then the world is just like huh interesting like those two people are gone like weird <laughs> and that ends up sort of weaving into the narrative in a way that i found super compelling all in all i just think that this manga is super tight there's no fluff he gets directly to the scares he knows exactly the mood he's trying to evoke and there are no corners that are cut it's pretty much airtight and it's a real quick read you could just sit down and knock this out in under an hour and i promise you're gonna get the spooks and the scares so if you're looking for something to read for halloween like a short horror manga if you just want a quick little read pick up dissolving classroom it is worth your time i really enjoyed this and i don't really have any problems with it in another story i would have maybe complained about like lack of character development or something like that but this this manga just knew what it was going to be from the start it doesn't try and fool you at all and it's creepy it's legitimately scary and i didn't think that i was gonna get the creepy crawlies at any point while reading this so yeah i think i'm super glad that this was my first foray into junji ito i am very very excited to read his other works now that i've gotten a little taste a little chef's kiss of of his work i know that his big one is uzumaki that's the one that i've had recommended to me the most and i'm probably going to get to that one soon i don't know if that's going to be the next one of his works that i read because i don't want to read his magnum opus first i kind of want to you know work my way up there somewhat but i i definitely plan on reading more of his work and i'll probably be making videos for those too also before i head out i just want to say Say real quick thank you to everyone who left like super nice comments on my one piece video and everything i i worked super hard on that and i didn't really think that anyone was gonna care what i had to say but you guys are all like super nice on there so thank you and also definitely expect more one piece videos because now that i know that people want to see that kind of stuff i mean i i always want to talk about it so yeah, expect more of that in the future. And very soon, because I, I'm back to reading it, and I'm going at a breakneck pace again. So anyway, until next time, have a happy Halloween, and take care of yourself. Goodbye. See ya. Peace out.